So let's take a different scenario. Now we're in the scenario where we're at the end of the case and we use our qualitative monitor and we find that the patient has a post-Titanic count of one or two. So we still have a deep block. How can I use uh, reversal agents in that situation? In that situation, neostigmine is absolutely not indicated. Neostigmine cannot reverse deep levels of neuromuscular block, nor should it be attempted. Uh, the only option in that way, actually two options, tincture of time, allow spontaneous recovery until you have minimum two, preferably three or four twitches before attempting a cholinesterase inhibitor neostigmine reversal. But now with Sugamidex available, there is a dose that we can actually reverse one to two post-Titanic counts with Sugamidex at four milligrams per kilogram. And it'll return a ratio, a train of four, ratio of 0.9 or greater in approximately three minutes. That's interesting timing wise, right Glenn? Because we said earlier, if you waited the tincture of time to get the two or three out of four twitches with the neostigmine, then you reverse, you still have another 20 to 30 minutes until you'd be ready to extubate, right? Yeah. And Sugamidex is a contrast to that. You're typically looking at anywhere from probably an hour to an hour and a half with neostigmine. By the time you wait for spontaneous recovery to a point where you can reverse, and then from there until you get full recovery. Studies have shown if you try to reverse uh, a deep level blockade with neostigmine, you may actually prolong the period of time until you get full recovery. So that clearly you should not reverse until you have some twitches. In fact, some people have written recently, you should not even attempt reversal with neostigmine until you have at least three to four twitches. Because of the time period it will take to reverse from a, a train of four count of one to two. So we're looking at a scenario where it's gonna be very, very difficult or impossible to reverse with neostigmine. Now with Sugamidex, we can reverse that level of block using a dose of four milligrams per kilogram and achieve full recovery within perhaps typically three minutes. Three minutes, and that's interesting because some of the surgical scenarios we described earlier may be requesting that we have a deep level of block uh, right up until the end of the procedure. And I think, again, another advantage of, of the drug is that we can do those cases and reliably get back to a train of four ratio of 0.9 uh, in the majority of patients. Again, if you look at the variability in recovery times, it's very, very small with Sugamidex in contrast to neostigmine where it's very wide. So almost all of our patients will achieve a train to four ratio of 0.9 within three minutes from a deep level of blockade. So it's important for providers to understand uh, the pharmacokinetics of the drugs, how they work, in which situations they're appropriate and then understand the length of time and, and that it's going to take for the patient to recover from the block. Absolutely, yes.